it's my favourite to film. So for today's video it is a back to school life hacks or study tips if you are going through exams or you just want to know how to revise a bit better. These are all the things I've learned in the past like year and really helped me really really well. Or there's just back to school life hacks in general if you're not taking exams and you just want some cool life hacks then I've got tons covered in this video so without talking any much more let's just get into it. flags these are so 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 helpful when revising you just write on them with a sharpie because no other pen really stays you write the topic on the flag stick them on that page and then every time you revise you can go straight to that page and you can find it it saves so much time i love it so much i've tried paper flags they rip they bend they don't stay on it's not good i have literally covered all my flashcards all my notebooks also you get a lot of recognition from your teachers your teachers actually will be like really really happy with you and save so much time when revising and go straight to the topic that you are looking for and it just it's such a lifesaver and i really love it Next life hack saves me all the time. If you wake up in the morning, it's like really greasy, and you like don't want to go to school like this because it's just embarrassing. This hairstyle covers up grease 100%. Separate your hair into the middle part in, and then just put up two sides of it. It's like half up, half down in rubber band. It's so quick. It's my go-to school hairstyle. So you can ask like any of my friends. They all know I wear this hairstyle pretty much every day. If you would like a back to school hairstyles video, then I can totally do that too. Just give this video a thumbs up. Go to bed at 9pm and wake up at 6am. Sometimes we revise to late hours in the day, so it could be like 11 o'clock you're revising and that's not good because you chances are you won't remember all of the information you revise at night the next day. So if you go to bed at 9pm but wake up at 6am and revise till 7am, you will have such a better chance at learning more in that one hour of you being up earlier than you did in like three hours of late night revision. I do this every morning before an exam. This also wakes up my brain because I am used to writing in the morning, reading in the morning, and just waking up a bit more. And then this way, when it comes to exam, I'm not baffled by, oh, I haven't hold, held a pen all morning. I haven't read something on paper all morning. You'll just be ready awake and for it. 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. also guarantees you nine hours of sleep, which is roughly about our age, exactly what we need. I set my alarm for five or 10 to six, so I have 10 or five minutes to wake up before. Then at 6 a.m. I have an alarm. I must get Get out of bed, get at my desk, and hardcore revise till 7 a.m. I will have a second alarm at 7 a.m. to stop me. Then I can go on my phone, then get changed, do whatever to have breakfast and that. Making sure you don't go on your phone for an hour after you wake up really ensures that you are really awake and you will not get tired. Study right from the beginning of the course. Now, if you're already a year in like me, this may not work for you, but if you're going into your first year of learning the course, start studying it straight away. Do not leave your revision till like the January of the year that you're going to take your exams. I started right at the start of year 10, which is start where we start our two year course. And so I'm already a year in revision end of year 11 where I take my exams. Also a tip, every lesson you go to you must know that you understand everything you just learned in that lesson. You don't want to go away and not know what you just learned because when it comes to revision you're going to have to teach yourself everything all over again. So if you don't understand what just happened in that lesson go to your teacher at the end, ask them to recap in simpler terms or something or just have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Just make sure that after every lesson you 100% know what just went on in that lesson.
bite size. Now this is not sponsored, but this is a great website for revision. I use this because it includes every single topic. Now I'm not sure about other countries, but I know they do it for England. If you're from other countries, you're not going to understand what I'm talking about. But for my English watchers, go on bite size and every single GCSE topic that you will learn from the start of the course to the end of the course. Even if you haven't learned it already, it is on there. There's nothing not on there that will be in the exams. Then a video to watch, then a quiz at the end, just to make sure that you've just got everything you read. Again, not sponsored, but it, I just really thought I'd recommend it to you. Here are your exam tips of what to do before an exam. For the exam, you want to turn up to your exam 20 minutes early. Your school should advise to get there 10 minutes early already. So that's when everyone else will really arrive. But if you get there 20 minutes early, you have 10 minutes just to yourself and you can look over your notes. Skim them, you're not teaching yourself any of the thing at this point. At this point, you should have already have done revision and it's just recapping what you learned. And you can use the extra 10 minutes, but it may get a little noisy with everyone arriving. Then you want to make sure you go toilet before the exam. The last thing you want is to be sat in the exam and the only thing on your mind is that you need to go to a toilet in those 10 minutes that everyone arrives because I've already done my own vision then you want your phone at hand because you want to hand that in instantly you also want to double check that you have every single equipment you need when you get into the exam the first thing you should do is take off whatever jacket or something you have like in my school we have uniforms so I take off my blazer and put it at the back of my chair it knows your routine for when you're in the exam hall then after you've done that Take out everything from your pencil case, it should be clear, and lay out everything you have ready for you to grab. And double check your chair, because I've had the wrong chair before. I thought I was L9, but I was actually I9. That was embarrassing, because I don't do that. No one really talks about, and I find so, so helpful. Revise using your hand. If you've got a really difficult, complex sentence to remember, or something that it's going to need to be memorized word for word, then break it down and put it in sections on your hand. So I will give you an example of my English one. My test uses language to show. This is because this can be shown in the quotation. I think the writer feels that this would indicate to the audience I think this is effective because. And by doing that over and over and over before the exam, I find that when you're in an exam, if you follow it with your hands, you will remember it word for word. And finally, I have some ways to study because some people don't know actually what type of revision helps them the most. So singing, there's two options to this. You can find a song of your topic for revision online. My favorite is the electromagnetic spectrum for physics. Oh, what's the electromagnetic spectrum again? Oh, I don't know the order, does it go? Gamma rays. Oh, I know. Magnetic spectrum is just a name. just have to reference to the song. And there's also habitats for biology, periodic table song for chemistry. But what about the periodic table? I don't know it in order. Oh, I know. <laughs> the elements of the periodic table. There's hydrogen and helium, then lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon everywhere. Nitrogen all through the air and oxygen so you can breathe in fluorine for your pretty teeth. Neon to light up the sign, sodium for salt.
other option to this, then take a really popular song that you know, the karaoke version of it, sing your revision to it. I tried that with my business studies, with my location of industry before, and I put it to the background song of um, closer. The next is mind maps on your wall or posters or anything. If you work very visually but you don't like to write down, here I've done the periodic table and this is not the full periodic table. I have cut out a lot of it, it's just because I, it was a lot to do. Photogenic mind you're gonna remember it. The next is voice memo. If you're also a very good listener, then record your voice speaking whatever you need to revise and learn. Then listen back to that with headphones whenever, like when you're in bed, walking, and the more you listen to your voice, you might, because it's your voice, then you will learn. How Flashcards are super, super helpful. I think this helps, works best for me. I also put all my page flags on it so I can go straight to the card that I need. Write a word on one side and then a definition on the next side. Or like a physics equation where you have the name of the equation and the back is the actual equation. Or you can just put loads of information. But make sure to summarise your work. When you are copying out stuff onto flashcards, make sure you are not copying word for word from the book because that is pointless. So links us to a new website called Quizlet. This is not sponsored either but this is a really good web website for revision. Online flashcards, games, so many different ways. You can make your own flashcards so if you don't want to go out and buy paper ones and you're better because you're always on your phone then if you don't want to make your own you can look up and loads of people have made flashcards already for loads of subjects so if you don't want to per se write your own flashcards there are tons on there is writing it out condensed in a notebook purely for revision. I write my work in there, again condensed, a bit like flashcards, pretty much just on a bigger scale works best for you. Try all these. I definitely guarantee that one of these will work. And that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and took something out of this video, even if it's a little bit for the future, if you're not quite there for a vision yet. This video is also a collab with my good friend here on YouTube, Megnim. I know her in real life and I don't know why it's taken us this long to collab, but I finally reached out to her and said we should definitely do a back to school collab. So she's doing back to school outfit ideas because she's going into college so I'm doing the like school portion she's doing the college portion if you're from her channel hi I'm Claudia I know I mentioned that at the beginning but I didn't properly introduce myself please subscribe if you did enjoy this video I make weekly content like this I work so hard on my videos so I definitely think that there's gonna be something here for you because I do such a big variety of videos that there's something for everybody give this video a big thumbs up if you are loving the back to school series and want more I have so many more coming this summer I'm having so much fun so again subscribe if you have not subscribed already I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video bye